Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Codename New to Vero 2. I'm your presenter, Shabu RU, and it's been a while since I've been actually in front of the camera presenting something, and I wanted to take this time, you know, normally we do comic recaps or something of the iconic 80s, early 90s franchises. Well, we're going to look into something that is retro, that's making a huge comeback, and this all started, I was in Vero, um, you know, the town next to where I live, and I saw this music store called uh, Wax Records. Now, they specialize in vinyl, um, you know, uh, music. Now, the whole thing is, I'm sure a lot of you know, vinyl has been making a big comeback. A lot of these, like, not just old, like, guys, like, Gen Xers like us, but it's kind of become trendy. Now... If you guys are familiar, the whole, while vinyl is inexpensive to make and whatever, the process of it is actually, you know, it is a process to get, you know, a song to get into press and to put it out in market. And for a lot of bands, that mean that's a tough thing to do because there's a lot of um, money to be put into creative record. Now, how this all started is, um, you know, I like to collect retro things. And one of the things that I have in my collection is my old Sony Walkman. Remember these? I know kids that are probably 30 and younger have no idea what the hell this is. But I still have my, this is my Walkman from back in the day. And I, it's still in pristine condition. The smart thing is I always took the batteries out so avoid all the battery leaks. So when I kept it in storage and never had, you know, whenever I use it, I put the batteries in and then when I don't, I take the batteries out. And this is, I guess, towards the middle of the um, Walkman cycle. I had an uh, earlier one, and but this was the one I wanted because, you know, I was in football and wrestling and I always needed something. and. You know, the sports ones, you could take a beating. And again, um, Sony was the leader of this whole tape revolution. And, uh, you know, if you want to do, unless you don't know, you know, Sony kind of pioneered the whole ca audio cassette um, industry. They were, they had their stronghold on that. Panasonic was also another good brand. JVC was another good brand. Uh, Iowa was another good brand and then Sony bought Iowa and they were kind of like supposed to be the inexpensive ones but actually Iowa's were just the same a carbon copy of the earlier Walkman. Now I actually for the first time in tw I calculated for the first time in 25 years I bought a cassette an actual cassette from that Wax Records music store in Vero. And you have to go big. So I got um, Guns N' Roses, um, Use Your Illusion, Volume 1. But I actually do have quite a bit of cassette tapes. Um, here's Nirvana Nevermind, uh, Paul Simon, Robert Plant. I have some other stuff. Uh, Roger Waters, when he uh, left Pink Floyd. Just him talking. I mean, ugh. But here's the thing, like... The thing is like, I'm saying making this video because now is actually the time to start collecting cassettes. And you may think it's an inferior sound quality. Why would you want to do that? But it's organic. The big problem with um, digital is sometimes it's too clean. Me being a musician um, in my younger days, you know, when you hit, for example, I got my bass here. Give me a second. Because of the way this digital is taking place, like analog recording is a lot better because you actually want to feel like, like the person hitting the note and, you know, going down. So when you make things, that's organic. And you want to hear that, you know. And the way to do that, the old bands like uh, Sabbath did it, uh, is you would mic up to your... Um, you know, the mic would be right by where the speaker is. So you would know that, oh, that sounds like a Fender or that sounds like an MPEG. And that's because there were, you know, mic 
uh, putting the mic by the speaker head and into the soundboard. So you could distinguish the sounds instead of like having everything just go through the computer and everything sounding the same. And then changing like, oh, you know, I mean, they now they make like effects that you could do in post-production, but it's, it's so fake, man. It, it's so terrible. And a lot of artists are going back into analog recording um, the ones that actually play a real instrument, because nowadays all these stupid artists use computers. But a lot of you know the old school artists are going back to that method that I just talked about of you know organic miking up you know and recording through that way. Um, same thing when you listen to music. Yeah, it might not be like perfect, but you know the the trend and the fad is like. The, the streaming and stuff is just like it's not it's just it's just becoming too like distant like people have an intimate relationship with their music and streaming or whatever you're losing that intimacy like you know people are finding that this old style of hitting play stop fast forward flipping opening holding music you know the ones that haven't uh, experienced that are finding out it's real, it's human. It's an organic thing. And again, it's why it's popular, becoming popular versus vinyl is a lot of these lower bands are using it. Like, you know how Metallica had that No Life to Lather? I mean, that's how Metallica became famous is through these mixtapes and passing that along and then from that kill em all was um recorded and created but uh no life to lather that cassette tape pretty much was kill em all and that featured a dave mustaine on guitar versus kirk hammett but you know that's still one of the most popular demo tapes of all time uh, because it created the um, empire known as metallica but a lot of, um, you know, can can Canadian bands like is really big with metal today. And I'm using metal as an example because, you know, it's cheaper to produce th this. It's tiny. You could pass it along to, you know, people to turn on. It's inexpensive. And where CD or I mean, I'm sorry, vinyl is more of a process. And CD is also cheap and inexpensive as well. And again, it's the same feel, a little bit better quality. Um, but again, like with both cases, streaming doesn't do this. And this is what I hate about modern music. The book, the, the books, the album cover, the, the connection that, you know, we have with our music. Like I'm pulling this out, or here we go. We'll use the use your illusion. You know, opening up, looking at the lyrics, like, I mean, all of this intimate connection that people have versus streaming and downloading, you know, has been lost. And that's why cassette tapes, and I'll give you an example. My regulars know that my profession is that of auditing. I'm an auditor in analyt analytics. So from 2017, to 2018, Nielsen Music recorded a, what, what was it? A 23% growth from sales of cassette tapes. And then from 2018 to 2019, a 37% growth has occurred, you know, from the transaction of cassette tapes. Also as a collector, you know, Right now is relatively inexpensive. The only thing you have to check out is how, especially used cassettes, is how bad they deteriorate. Some of them, they will deteriorate. So that's another thing. It's a hunt, but it's an inexpensive hunt. I mean, $2, you saw Use Your Illusions was what, $6? And this is basically a brand new cassette. And I saw a new um, Kill em All for 30 bucks, which is, yeah. But the other thing also is the record industry is also releasing cassette tapes. 
Yeah, you heard right. So certain um, markets are getting new music, and I'm talking about top 40 crap like Ariana Grande or uh, who the hell's, God, I don't know. Um, who's that fat girl from Britain? Uh, Dodo, whatever. <laughs> anyway, like top, that's because even though I'm a metal and uh, rock fan, you ain't going to get anywhere unless top 40 is involved. So yes, like, Top 40 artists and record companies that support those acts are releasing new music on cassette format. My favorite band, modern band, is Tool. Tool also, along with their latest album, released a CD, vinyl, and a cassette. Um, so a lot of band, and it's inexpensive for them to do it. And with the whole, the MTV format dead, it's advantageous so i really recommend like if you're out there um you know sony walkman's you know go with the best try to look for them on ebay or even local markets that's probably the best thing because you get to test them out that's that's why online is a crapshoot i this is mine so i totally know that what it is but for you guys investing in a walkman once again and um you know, test it out. They do sell blank tapes. That's the other thing, mixtapes. We all know that. Whether you deal with the heartbreak or trying to get that special uh, someone to fall in love with you. That whole organic thing of recording music, you know, putting all this other stuff, compiling music, that is what's catching on. Not with just old, us old guys, but the young kids nowadays are finding it. Whoa, we missed out on this. This is pretty damn cool. Yeah, the sound quality ain't up there, but it's pretty decent. If you get like that, uh, my Nirvana, never mind me. It's a little bit lower versus a, a CD, obviously. But you know, I uh, paired mine with the uh, with the old earbuds, the iPhone earbuds from, you know, I guess up to six, and then they start using the, the other type of connection. But if you get like one of those good quality headphones and you know you have a good cassette, that's like, you know, great. And going out there in all these markets, like, you know, um, yard sales and trying to like, it's inexpensive and it's a shitload of fun. And it's one of those things that I highly recommend people, Now's the time because this is going to start every year has been a double digit increase as far as growth. And the fact that the music industry is also following and this might be the thing that saves the music industry, ironically, is going back to this old format because, um, you know, the music industry isn't what it used to be. I mean, if they're letting a Taylor Swift or whatever become famous and those people, you know, their songs and stuff are shit. <laughs> it's not like, you know, and playing actual music, like guitar, learning how to play guitar, th all of this will help save music and not just going on using Pro Tools on a computer. So, and the relationship, the intimacy of your music is a very sacred one. So again, I just wanted to bring this up and let people know that if you could, getting into collecting music cassette tapes is in vogue and it's something that you should start now. Recommendation is finding a Walkman a, in either a Sony or a Panasonic brand, JVC, like those names I talked about. Um, they're very inexpensive. And, you know, the mechanisms, make sure to test all those stuff out. And then, you know, um, go to yard sales, find cassettes. And if you can't, you could also go online and find cassettes. And I know there's some companies that are actually making the modern audio, because there's a company in France that's making um, a more clear uh, audio tape. So that might become the new in vogue. Anyway, I, I thought I'd share this with everybody because um, I posted something over the weekend and I've got flooded with questions and so on. Like, oh, I thought you collect just retro toys and stuff I'm, or games. I'm like, 
no, I'm basically stuck in the past. And um, you know, not only do I have this Walkman, but I have, um, uh, let me see. Well, I have a Sony, uh, oh, here we go. A Sony Discman from back in the day. And I'm sure everybody and their mother had this model. Remember this? People have, would have them in their car, actually. And the, when you hit a bump, blah, you're like, you know. And the other thing I have is a Sony Discman. My favorite, or mini disc. And mini disc is my favorite format of all time. Uh, the recording, it, you have all the thing. It's like a cassette with CD combined. And you could do, especially with music recording. I mean, I could lay down multiple tracks, bass, drums, you know, several pairs of vocals, guitars, and all on digital. So when I was starting out, I wanted to get a uh, mixing board with a mini disc, and then to be able to do the same thing that you did with cassettes onto a mini disc, I mean, it was a win-win. So that is my all-time favorite format, is the mini disc. But, you know, um, that was the only thing is like a not not a lot of uh, record companies released mini disc albums and that's what ultimately led to that doom but I, again they're like uh i know taylor swift released a cassette ariana grande and in europe it's really catching on fire so um it's something that i think us in america we should definitely look into it and i'm sure like if you start collecting you're gonna see how much freaking fun it is. Well, this is Shabu RU talking about cassette tapes in 2020. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. I think the next episode will be a comic recap. So looking forward to seeing you then. Take care, bye.